complete hand hygiene as set out by the World Health Organization using the seven step technique. You will then begin to don your PPE. First, put on an, an apron. Ensure the apron is placed over the head and tied at the back, and ensure the apron is folded fully outwards. Put on mask. You will place the mask on and ensure that the ties are tied or that the loops are placed over both ears. Refrain from touching the outer mask and ensure that it is folded around the mouth and chin. You will place your visor over your head or your eye protection. Ensure not to touch the outer part of the visor. You will then don gloves. Put on non sterile gloves to both hands. To begin the process of reconstitution, you will first clean your tray with your, or a suitable receptacle, front and back using a 70% alcohol impregnated wipe or sporicidal detergent wipe. You will gather the equipment you will require, checking all packaging and expiry dates. The equipment includes the vaccine, a 2ml syringe, green drawing up needle, 2% chlorhexine and 70% alcohol wipe, such as a green clinelle wipe, and a vial of sodium chloride. You should check the vaccine expiry date and also that the vaccine has not been opened for more than 120 hours or 5 days for the Pfizer vaccine. Ensure there are no particles within the vaccine before use and gently invert the vial 10 times prior to reconstitution and ensure that only sodium chloride should be used for reconstitution. Using a 2% chlorhexine and 70% alcohol wipe, you will clean the top of the vaccine for 30 seconds and then leave to air dry. Following this, you will then use again using a 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol green clinelle wipe. You will clean the top of the, the vial of sodium chloride and ensure that you're leaving it to air dry. No other dilutant should be used. You will remove the 2ml syringe and attach it up to the drawing up needle, ensuring you do not touch any of the key parts.
you will draw up 1.8 ml of sodium chloride and dispose of the vial following the use. You will inject that 1.8 ml of sodium chloride into the vaccine vial. Draw back 1.8 ml of air from the visor vaccine vial. This is to reduce the amount of pressure within the vial. Following this, you will dispose of all sharps in the sharps box. Invert the vaccine up to 10 times. Please do not shake the vaccine as the vaccine should be white in colour and no particles present. You will doff PPE, taking gloves off one by one and complete hand hygiene. You will then take the apron off by snapping one side of the apron and rolling the apron down. The apron will then be placed into a yellow bin. You will complete ham tidying. Visor then will be taken off, ensuring you do not touch any of the outer layers of the visor and complete hand hygiene. Take mask off without touching the outer mask and place in a yellow bin. Then complete hand hygiene. Before administration of the vaccine, you will don PPE. You will introduce yourself to the patient and check the patient's identification. You will also check for allergies. Then you will carry out the individual assessment, ensuring that you go through the checklist with the patient. You will ensure the patient is fully informed and that they have consented for the vaccine to be administered. You would assess the patient's potential sites for injection, identify the location of the deltoid muscle. You would assess the site for accessibility and mobility, redness, swelling, scar tissue, any infection, inflammation or swelling, and you will also assess the muscle mass and tone. 
draw an imaginary horizontal line two or three finger breasts below the lower edge of the chromium process. The injection will be given into the, the middle of that imaginary triangle and the needle will be inserted into the densest part of the muscle at 90 degree angle. You prepare and position the patient comfortably for the vaccination to take place. The patient can sit resting the arm on the armrest of the chair or holding both hands together. Check the vaccine ensuring that the drug is the correct drug, dosage, expiry date, route and time. The visor vaccine you should check the expiry date and the packaging of the blue needle and syringe. You will open and attach the blue needle to the syringe ensuring not to touch any of the key parts. Draw up 0.3 mils of the Pfizer vaccine. If using the AstraZeneca vaccine, you will draw up 0.5 mils of the vaccine. Use the side track with the non-dominant hand. Ensure that you pull the skin down or across to ensure the side track method can be used. With dominant hand, insert the needle at 90 degrees. There is no need to aspirate. Administer the 0.3 mils over three seconds and leave for another three seconds. On removal of the needle, release the skin from the side track and place the safety feature on the needle. You will place a gauze ball to the site. If the patient has a bleeding disorder or is in anticoagulants, ensure that the gauze ball has significant amount of pressure for a longer period of time. Dispose of the needles into a sharps box. You will doff PPE. Then complete the documentation. Following the vaccination, the following information should be recorded. The vaccine name, product name, the batch number, expiry date, the dose administered, the date the immunization was given, the route and the site used, and the name and the signature of the vaccinator. This information card will be given to the patient for their second vaccination. Ensure the patient is shown into the observation area to be observed for 15 minutes. Clean the seat and the vaccination area as well as completing hand hygiene. If the patient does not have sufficient muscle mass in the deltoid for the administration of the vaccine, you may use the vastus lateralis muscle. The vastus lateralis muscle is found in the outer aspect of the thigh. You will administer into the middle third of the vastus lateralis muscle using the same technique as before.